lot number 900 is a 2008 Ford F250 XL crew cab 4x4. This was a public works vehicle for Golden Beach. All the decals will be removed before the sale date. This one has very low miles, only 52,000 original miles. It's got a 5.4 liter V8. The motor sounds good. It's been running for well over an hour. It idles smooth, it revs up nice. The automatic transmission engages, but the AC blows warm. The AC compressor has not engaged the whole time I've had it running and the AC blows warm. I'm gonna rev it up, turn off the radio here. Radio doesn't turn off. Here are the miles. It's got 52,242 miles. I'm gonna rev it up so you can hear the engine. It sounds good. Sounds like it has an exhaust leak from down here. May have a small exhaust leak. The motor sounds good. It revs up nice and it idles smooth. The body is straight, but it does have minor dents and scratches all around. The paint looks fair. The bed is rusty, very rusty. It appears to have collapsed on the frame right there. You see how low it sits? It shows a lot of rust down there and it appears to have collapsed onto the chassis. It's got a big rust holes back here. It's missing passenger side tail light. It does have a Tommy lift, uh, lift gate and I could hear it power up and I could hear the little motor spinning but it doesn't attempt to lift the gate, so I'm not gonna open it. But it does power up. And I can hear it. But it sounds like it's uh, spinning freely. So I'm not gonna open it and then not be able to close it. It's rusty. It's got rust holes. And it doesn't appear to be working correctly. The tow hitch has rusted all the way through. Look at that. Undercarriage looks rusty. The bed has a lot of rust holes all the way through. Hard to see here, but believe me, it's rusty down there. And I'll do my best to show you along the sides here how rusty it is. Now it does show a lot of surface rust, but it could also be real rust. See that? That's the frame for the bed right there. That looks really rusty. I took a lot of pictures of the underbody. I want you to know it's rusty down there. Now I only drove the truck in here in the parking lot and it does engage, it drives. I did not test the four x four. Usually don't test those because if it disengages or something and then it could be worse so it's being sold as is uh, on the roof i did see a little spot of rust there and it's got one up there but the cab appears to be mostly solid i didn't really see any real rust on the cab the door uh hinges are solid the doors show a little rust underneath the interior shows wear and tear bench seat still looks good rubber mat on the floor is torn and worn the dashboard is not cracked all the panels look faded 
the headliner is torn in multiple spots and looks dirty. The whole truck is dirty inside and should clean up well, but it will need a good cleaning. Again, check out the door jams. They're solid. I don't see any real rust other than there. The bed is very rusty. This may be a good one to remove that bed and, and put one of those steel beds or something. Could make a good work truck. It's got low miles. All right, so there it is. It's a four by four crew cab. Here, this door shows a little rust underneath. Your WAMC back to school already, kids. But the hinges look solid. All right, so there it is. It's lot number 900. It's a 2008 Ford F-250 XL crew cab, four by four. It's got the 5.4 liter V8 with only 52,000 miles, but it does have severe rust on the bed and the undercarriage looks rusty. It's lot number 900. Good luck.